All right, so we have our kick drum laid down. The next thing you want to go ahead and get going is some type of a clap, a clap sound and some hi-hats. So in this lecture, that's what we're going to cover how to do that. OK. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double this track and how you do that is you just push command D and then that track will be double. That way I don't have to go back in here or go here and do, you know, create a, a, tra a tr new track from scratch. So I can do command D and then I can come over here and I can change the sounds if I want to. But let's just go through these sounds. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the window here so you can see what, you know, what I'm doing. Make this a little smaller. Now, this is a key thing to under, you know, remember that it's all about your creativity. There's really no rules. It doesn't have just because it's a clap sound. It doesn't have to be a clap. It can be anything you want it to be. I can that could be the clap sound. You know, what I mean, so I'm going to lay that down. It's the same process. You're just going to come over here and push record. Make sure you have the count in selected. Make sure you have the metronome selected. All right. The next step after that is to go ahead and quantize it. All right. Push P on your Mac or you can go to the scissors. Either way, it's going to pull it up. And I always, you know, go ahead and exit out of the library so I can see what's going on. Again, you're going to click on in the workspace. OK. And push command A to select all. Now I come over here to 16, one over 16. All right. Now, one thing to do is you always want to save as you go through your tracks. All right, so let's do that. We'll go ahead and push play here. Let's check it out. 